We have a very special edition of Gin CFB today. Ooh. Something we've never done before. Probably because this has only existed for like three months. A few months. months. Yeah. But that's okay because it's a historic day. We are presenting the first ever Footies Award. Woo! The Footies. Lucy, we had a big plan that we were going to come in here and Taylor was going to wear a tux and we were going to wear like award show. I mean, it's award season, right? The Emmys, the Golden Globes, the Critic Choice Awards all happening. So the Footies are coming the perfect time of year. And then we were like, eh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do the awards. Keep it simple. Yes. Right? So I did bring a ball gown. I'm not wearing it. I'm not going to. <laughs> I also brought a gown. <laughs> we, we prepped for it. Also, we learned this morning, and we're filming this as of Thursday in case Iowa hires an offensive coordinator by tomorrow. Um, probably not. That someone else already has claimed the award name, the footies. Yeah, the fantasy footballers. So we want to say that's yours, Dibs. First, however, we already made the graphic too late to change yeah. it. Yeah. But just know that we yeah. we that was your idea that we didn't mean to steal. But it's yours. You can have it, but we're going to also, gonna borrow it in homage to you, we're, we're using it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so you. good for you guys. You came up with it first. Football, am I right? Yeah, that's crazy. It's so fun. So, Lucy, how is this going to work? We have a bunch of award categories. This kind of came off of last week's segment. We were, like, trying to think of, like, oh, we need a top five or the best moments. But too much happens in too college much. football for just a top five. So we have a bunch of categories, very exciting categories, uh, very deserving nominees. This is a this is a big deal. It's the first one ever. We're going to do this every year forever, Lucy, as long forever. as we're both here doing Gen CFB. And so you're going to read a award and the nominees and then I'm going to give the winner and then we'll kind of like go back and forth a little bit. Yeah, exactly what Tina Fey and Amy Poehler do. Exactly. Comedy mm -hmm. duo legends. Blonde, Lucy brunette, and me what? and Amy Poehler and Tina Fey and Taylor. And Taylor, yep. <laughs> Taylor's our Will Ferrell. Yeah, that's great. He doesn't have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> Chime in Don't worry. North Carolina's belt. nominated for a couple awards. You may be coming up with some foot hardware today. We don't, do we have any physical awards? No, we made them destroy those microphones. All right, yeah. So just like imagine an award there. Are you ready, Jess? I'm ready. Let's get going. I feel like we're going to run out of time because we have so many awards. So, so let's many. start. All right. So the first award of the night or day, whenever you're listening to this, if the season ended in September, the Ooh. nominees are Maryland, Colorado, Air Force, Washington State, and our beloved Syracuse Orange. Wow. All deserving winners, Lucy. But I feel like every year this award should just go to Syracuse. Am I right? I feel like it should. I got to say, I'm going to be a little sad when Maryland doesn't have to play the Big Ten East schedule anymore. And no. then now we have to start thinking about them in October. Like, kind of hope it goes to them. Well, let's see who the winner is. <gasps> it's Syracuse. Yay! Wow. Good job. If the season ended in September award. The, the rare team orange. to win the if the season ended in September award that lost in September. All right. Uh, it doesn't matter. It was September 30th. There's no way they did that. They ended up finishing 6-6 six and six and fired their coach, as all September winners do. All right. So good job, Syracuse. Very right. proud of you. Our next award is the award for the most elder abuse. The nominees are... Jake Dickert to Lee Corso for getting mad about that college game day comment, the nobody wants us bowl. And we have Lucy to Lee Corso getting mad that Lee Corso is simply on college game day. Yes, Lucy, you were nominated for a footy. We also have Ryan Day to Lou Holtz after the Notre Dame Ohio State game, wondering Lou Holtz was probably asleep. And finally, uh, a surprise nomination for Chris Cody. Uh, Chris Cody to his father, Greg Cody. Uh, so the award for most elder abuse, Lucy, who do we think is going to win this one? Man, Chris can be mean. <laughs> Man, Chris can be mean. I don't think it's him, but I kind of hope so. Who who won the award? Let's right. open the envelope. The winner goes to Ryan Day to Lou Holtz. Wow. Man, was he angry. I agree. I mean, that was a, one of the memes of the year. He was so mad. And it was such a weird right moment. Now. It was, was really, really weird. Odd. It was like in, on NBC, yeah. like everyone's like, wow, what a huge win. And, and that happened. I was at the game, actually. So I was like throwing up in the bathroom out of anger and, and kind of missed the moment happened live and then saw it after the fact and was just blown away at how strange it was. You could feel that was like building up in, in Ryan Day oh, for a while. He was up. waiting. It's Ohio State against everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting to be mad at Lou Holtz on national television. Haven't we all, though? Uh, true. All right, our next award 
Best Cry. Oh, okay. And the nominees are Sharon Moore after beating Penn State. Ooh, that was he, a good cry. He cried. Butch Jones on the sideline after getting blown out against Oklahoma. It's more of a sob. <laughs> that was really upsetting. And finally, me at every game. Oh, oh my God. God. Nominated again. <laughs> Lucy, are we afraid you're going to become the Better Call Saul of footy nominees and not win one? I'm scared. Do you because think I'm not going to win this? I don't think you're going to win this one because actually, Sharon Moore won the footy for Best Cry. Oh. Happy, happy for him. I mean, he, he deserved the moment, but it was a, it was a very uh, dramatic sob. I cried it every game. He cried it one game. He cried it every <laughs> that we single know of. game. That we know of. Sure. It was a good cry. Happy for him. Ooh, we got a big one coming up here. Tell us who it is. All right. The Mario Cristobal Award for Game Management. Ooh, wow. We have a, a stacked field. We have Georgia Tech in Miami, the end of the game debacle where Mario Cristobal did not kneel it out and Georgia Tech won. We have Jed Fish at the end of the Arizona-USC game. That was when we had to talk about overtime rules after that. Um, also, congrats on the Washington job to Jed Fish. Uh, we also have another Mario Cristobal nomination, the end of the pinstripe bowl, finishing the season with all those timeouts in your pocket, carrying him over to week one next year. I like the move, Mario. And finally, the referees at the end of the Iowa-Minnesota game. Lucy, I feel like you m- nominated that yourself. It was not a fair catch. That, this, <laughs> not this, <laughs> this. Tune into YouTube, by the way. Um, not this. <laughs> all right, well, tell us who won. The winner is... And this is the right choice. It's the right choice. The Georgia Tech Miami knee debacle. One of the best moments of the season, if not the best. I feel like this should win multiple awards because similar to the Ryan Day thing, like this was something that broke contain outside of the college football world. Everyone, I mean, NFL coaches were talking about this. It was it was a big deal. It was very upsetting. So congrats to Mario Cristobal for winning the Mario Cristobal Award for Game Management. That's huge. He this was a, this something. was a moment where it didn't even feel real that it actually. It didn't feel real. <laughs> so it stupid. really no. You're absolutely right. And this also happened as Notre Dame was losing on like ABC, and I was like, all right, well, I'll turn on the stupid Miami game because everyone's tweeting at me, and that, it made me feel so much better because being a hater is so much fun. I had the opposite where I turned this game off with like a minute thirty left. I'm doing the math in my head. I'm like, oh, this game's over, and then I get the notification that like Georgia Tech has the ball and I'm like so- something's not adding up here <laughs> how is that yeah that was an upsetting game if you were a Miami fan but uh, and then you lost to Rutgers so I guess things got worse from there you're also undefeated at the time that was Miami's first I mean it can't be overstated how insane that was BCS Award number one winning yeah <laughs> BCS number one Miami that oh is man absolutely tough so Gosh. our next award is the biggest game that ended up meaning nothing the nominees are Ooh. UNC Miami. No, oh, Taylor. Put that on the list. Sad. Notre Dame, Ohio State. Mm, me, sad. TCU, Colorado. Ooh. Every Florida State game. <laughs> and Ohio State, Penn State. <laughs> All right, Lucy, well, I feel like there's a very obvious winner here. It turns out the biggest game that ended up meaning nothing was actually all of the Florida State games this year. One. Every single game. They didn't mean Because anything. they went 13-0 and did not make the playoff, famously. Um, did, do you think Boo Corgan knew Saban was retiring and was like, we got to put him in there. It's his last last ride. He, when Saban announced he was retiring, he just like broke and like started sobbing. He would have won <laughs> best cry ever being like, I'm saved, I'm saved. Oh, man. Sorry to Florida State, but it was uh, it was tremendous content for a while. So good. Would never want it to happen to me though. Um, but very deserving award winners. Uh, next we have ooh another big one. They're all big ones, folks. If you're not catching on, every single award is important here at the Footies. We have the Dan Lebetard. He's changing the game and coming for everybody's stuff award. Wow. Ooh. Okay, our nominees: Dion Sanders. Mike Ryan, the first booster to ever be on the Dan Levitard show, and David Braun. Lucy, explain this one to me. Head coach Northwestern. That's a Northwestern team that won a bowl game against Utah. True. They weren't supposed to win a single game this year. God. Man, I'm talking myself into the David Braun answer. Uh Uh-oh. Okay, well, tell us who won. Open the envelope. I kind of wish all three could win. I really do. This is one of those awards that's hard to announce. Who would Dan Levitard pick? And the winner is... Deion Sanders. Yay! Finally an award for Colorado. They've been nominated a few times on here. 
This one means more than sports person. <laughs> this one means objectively more. He now has a footy. Remember when every show was just Dion talk? You yes. Every show we did. Every yeah. show we did. Yes, it was. Yeah, I do remember that. Yes. We had that board in the back. <laughs> the oh days. man. <laughs> we should have kept that because I feel like at this point, until right now, it would have been right now. It right would have been now. at like sixty days, maybe. Yeah. I mean, maybe like twenty days. Maybe like yeah. a, a week and a half. I don't know. When was the last time Dan talked about Dion? It's been a long time. Portal. Portal. All right. Yeah. Portal so re- recent. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Our next award. This one, a sad one. The best memorial for a coach <laughs> that is still alive. Surprisingly, this a lot. Is a happy of, one. A lot of nominations. <laughs> All right. Tell us who's nominated. All right. The nominees are Jim Harbaugh and the the four. Yeah. Uh, he that was for the first suspension. That was for the first suspension. Okay. I'm, and I think they had free Harbaugh also mm-hmm. for the first suspension, and they got to reuse those for the second expansion, uh, suspension. So good for you guys. Uh, Nick Saban and all the oatmeal cream pies. And, candles. And candles. Also, Cokes. bag of ice was just left out there. <laughs> I, I would have like, well, not... taken that. I right. always use more ice. Uh, Lee Corso. Oh, yeah, they did that tribute Cute to him on game. It was there. very sweet. That's a non-sarcastic nomination. No, non-sarcastic. And then my f- my final one, or my favorite one, Brian Ferentz wearing all black after he was let go and refusing to wear the Iowa logo. It was sort of his own Wow, this is a memorial. stacked category. It's really tough. Four legendary coaches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, well, yeah. Jim Harbaugh won because ah. that was uh, whew, that was a fun one. Everyone pay your respect. <laughs> the number four. And our next footy goes to the James Franklin fraud of the year. Whew. Wow. I wonder who's going to win this one. Very similar to our Mario Cristobal award for game management where you kind of have to wonder, should the guy who the award is named after just win it every year? But we'll find out because the nominees are the Liberty Flames. James Franklin, Lincoln Riley, ooh, that's mean, and Connor Stallion's vacuum company on Amazon, delivering dirty vacuums to people who thought they were getting clean, refurbished ones. Now on cameos. Now now on cameo, yeah. So who wins our uh, inaugural James Franklin Fraud of the Year Award, Lucy? Well, this one can go to none other than James Franklin himself, the OG. Congratulations, A lot James. of people are mad at us because they think that we're not fair to James Franklin and Penn State. And I would just like to point out that we're not fair to anyone. We're very mean people. If you're not, if you haven't caught on to that by now, we hate your team. <laughs> we hate yeah. very much. <laughs> also, we should have got Connor Stallions to announce to the winner oh. of Taylor. Why didn't you think of this yesterday? Why does he have a 24 hour option? <laughs> yeah, it's extra. <laughs> I'm, a rush delivery. He's. I mean, he's never going to pay for a drink. In Ann Arbor, I, ever no, in his life. He shouldn't. He's a national champion. Do you think if Harbaugh <laughs> gets uh, the Chargers job or wherever he ends up going, Connor Stallions has a shot of being back on that staff next year? Is the NCAA like, no, 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 no? I think he won't, won't go back to Michigan, you. but I think he'll follow Jim. I was going to say, oh, oh, yeah. I was going to say, Connor Stallions, like if Jim Harbaugh leaves, there's part of Connor Stallions' mind where it's like, I might get interviewed for this head coaching <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends if it's in the manifesto. Lucy. What's our next award? All right, next category, Fan of the Year. Ooh. And the nominees are Tyler from Spartanburg. How can oh, we forget him? Tyler. Oh, Tyler. hope he's doing Tyler. Well. Tyler. Cole from Oklahoma State. We met you there, and you were awesome. He's the one that loves Tony. Loves Tony. Um, hmm. No one has ever been that excited to see me in human history, so thank you, Cole. <laughs> That's why you made it on here. Um, Pee Wee from Grand Bay. Mm. Me? Lucy, fan of the year nominee. Okay, it's your like third. I make these awards or something. Your third nomination. Maybe you'll win this one. And finally, the guys that wore the punt sweatshirts to all the Iowa games. Wow. Oh my God. Another stacked category. But our winner is the one and only Tyler from Spartanburg. Sorry, Lucy. I mean. Tyler from Spartanburg turned around an entire season really for the Clemson did. Tigers. And whether or not he was a plant, I don't know. But he did a lot for Dabo Sweeney's career, all right? And a lot for that team. I ended up finishing the season 9-4, and four, won their bowl game, gate roll, very exciting stuff. So thank you to Tyler from Spartanburg, I, I suppose, for the content and also for being the best fan out there. You got your team to go on a little winning streak. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> and our next award, ooh, this feels like this should be our, our last one, but it's yeah. not. We have actually three more. So we're we're near the end of the footies, Lucy, and I'm very sad. Um, but this is the award for best foot. Ooh. The footy for best 
foot nominees are Shane Beamer, who broke his foot this year, kicking something. He wouldn't tell us what because he was very mad and very sad. Harrison Mevis, the thicker kicker. He hit that 61-yard bomb field goal, Lucy, and it was absolutely electric. We also got to see him play in the bowl game. So shout out to Harrison Mevis. Maybe he'll win. And finally, your favorite, Tori Taylor, the punter at Iowa. Lucy, who's going to win the inaugural footy for best foot? I am so proud to announce that the winner <laughs> is Tori Taylor from the University of Iowa. Wow. Okay, can so you give well an acceptance deserved. speech on his behalf? I wish Perhaps. I had an Australian accent. Um, he's gone now. You just say nar. Nar. Yeah, um, I did that. If I were Tori once. Taylor, I would say thank you to myself for being better than everyone else. And thank you f- to Brian Ferentz for keeping those <laughs> punts coming. Thank you so much. Don't know what I'd do without you. Guess what? The next guy I was bringing in, I've watched this tape. He's great. Ooh. Well, it's, a, it's like following Saban, though. It's a tough it's act. Really you don't want to be the guy after the guy. Taylor, you told me you have a, a stat here. Give it to me. Yep. Tory Taylor led the NCAA in punts this year. Yeah, 93 did. punts. Second, he had 13 more than second place. 22 more than third place. And wow. He was so good at <laughs> so it, too. Punts. He, he kept us. We would probably be, what, we were 10 and 3, which is disgusting and crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. We talk about how, like, one of the worst statistical offenses in college football wins 10 games in the Big Ten. You know how they do that? <laughs> Field position. Best foot. <laughs> Tory Taylor. I mean, I think you can actually, like, he, he won Iowa oh, he games. He won several games. Yeah. I mean, we joke, but he absolutely deserves this footy. Six and a half punts per game. Crazy number. It's eh. <laughs> a lot of I'm kind of numb to it. So I'm like, yeah. That, that <laughs> Lucy's well. like, I have no concept of what is a crazy number of yeah, punts anymore. Really <laughs> no All right, Lucy, who do we have next? All right, our next award is Thanks for the Memories. Aww. A sad one. And the nominees are the Pac 12. <laughs> sad. Nick Saban. No, oh, Saban. Jimbo Fisher. Oof. And a special category for all the quarterbacks leaving college football this year. Wow. Can you give us a list of, of who that is? Sam Hartman. Oh, he should Bo win Nicks. every award. Talia. Tanner Mordecai. Jaden Daniels, Heisman winner. Yeah. Spencer Rather. Is he really done? I think he was on the list of quarterbacks entering mm-hmm. the draft in 2024. Keaton Slovis. Spencer Sanders. And JT Daniels. Wow, these are names that I feel like I've gotten cust- I've gotten accustomed to just hearing on Saturdays during football season. Whatever team that they're on, I've enjoyed watching uh, all of these quarterbacks. I will miss them all, especially Sam Hartman, Notre Dame. Thanks. If he starts a game in the NFL, do you think he'll say Notre Dame or Wake Forest? I think it's he'll a, say Notre Dame. It's a question for a lot of these quarterbacks. I mean, Bo Nix is obviously going to say Oregon, but you know, some of these guys you could see it go either way should ask them. I will ask. I will ask them that. All who, right. Who wins this award, Lucy? The winner for Thanks for the Memories. None other than the Pac-12 Conference. Oh, yay. Sort of gone and never forgotten. I really, it would have been a nice poetic ending for Washington to win the national championship because I think that was what a lot of fans were building towards. Like, look, you ruined this great thing, you stupid television networks and university presidents and athletic directors and all these greedy people. Look, this was the best year ever of the Pac-12. More parody than ever. Best quarterbacks in all of college football in this league. And now they won, but they didn't. So it kind of sucked. And now they're joining the Big Ten, who did win. So didn't get the little nice, neat bow at the end of it. But regardless, I mean, it is next year is going to be extremely chaotic because of all of the Saban's gone. The conferences are completely different. And all of these other the portal obviously is crazy. But it is going to be so weird to just see the Pac or the Pac-12 teams that have left part of all the new, like the Big Ten and the Big 12 and the ACC, it just is going to take a long time to get used to, and it makes me sad. Can't wait for UCLA at Rutgers, though. Really, wow. Looking forward to that one. There are. I mean, um, the schedules, they do intrigue me. They're weird. <laughs> They're very They're weird. They're so <laughs> odd. Can't wait to see uh, USC playing at Ryan Field. But thanks for the memories, Pac-12. We hardly knew ye. All right, ready for our final category? I'm ready, Lucy. This one, the last footy. Moment of the year. 
And the nominees are the Connor Stallion sign stealing scandal. Wow, that's a lot of S's. That, that wow. Say it five times fast. Connor Stallion sign stealing scandals. Connor Stallion sign stealing scandal. Connor Stallion sign. Okay, I'm done. It's hard. Yeah, it's really do it tough. More than twice. All right. <laughs> Just some special moments from that. He wrote a 500 page Michigan manifesto yeah. on how he would one day lead the program. That is a possibility now. <laughs> and he ran a vacuum business quite unsuccessfully all at the same time. That's not easy to do. Huge nomination. <laughs> I mean, when we look back on 2023, I don't know how we're not immediately associating the season with Connor Stallion. So if he doesn't win, it is an upset. He's my time. He's my sports person of the year. It was probably one of my, yes, absolutely. One of my, he should win every footy. Like one of the most insane, like few weeks of college football was just every new Connor Stallion's update coming, trickling out. Every new thing you found out about him was so weird and so just bat shit and just I, it, the entire thing was so weird we still haven't really gotten a full resolution to it yet either other than he's not on he's not on the staff anymore so it was a weird time to be alive he is in my heart give All us right. give me the other nominees though. next nominee is alabama beating auburn on a fourth and goal hail, hail mary from the 32 yard line yeah fourth and, and 31 if that be had one of those plays we all remember forever if that had not gone Alabama's way, we would be celebrating a dog's three-peat right now, which is kind of <laughs> crazy. Like, that's just insane to think about. But, hey, it happens. That's why they brought in Hugh Freeze, to beat Nick Saban, who was no longer there, and then he didn't even do it. <laughs> um, how did Hugh Freeze not get nominated? Is, is he on this? I guess this technically is a Hugh Freeze backhanded nomination, but yeah, I feel sort like of. he should have been on this list somewhere. Anywho. Give me the other ones. Next nominee is Florida State missing out on the playoffs. Aww. Oh, sad. Tough. They already won. They are not. I, I wouldn't give that moment of the yeah. year. It was like no, sad, sad moment, moment of, of the year. year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next nominee, huge. This is a good one. Jeff Trailer getting his finger caught in one of those mouse traps that wow. UTSA planted around the facility when they were like, "Hey, don't, you know, don't go after the cheese." And then he did do that. <laughs> yeah, I would do it too. I love cheese. Ed's it's like my man. main food group. Our next nominee. The possum on the field during the Texas Tech oh, game. Yay! Oh, yay! I was, love that guy. He was so cute. Look, you throw tortillas on the field, you're going to get animals. Yeah. Like it's, oh. it's, and it was great. All right, Connor Stallions. I don't know. This other animal-themed one might win now. This is mm. tough. All right. Next nominee is Metal Arc Media applying for the <laughs> <laughs> wrong national championship game. We're going to end up for Lucy. Oh, man, that one was so funny. And not even getting that for that. <laughs> not even getting yeah, it for, you for, for the FCS. Thank you for that one, Taylor. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it, also sad. Like, this could be the sad, sad moment of the year, along with Florida State getting le- left out of... Sorry, I'll stop. Yeah, laughing. yeah, yeah. No, it's, I'm, I'm so glad everybody's loving this. <laughs> um, and the final nominee, Pop-Tart Bowl Mascot. No, yay! All right, Lucy, the winner of our final footy, the moment of the year, is the Pop-Tart Bowl mascot getting sacrificed and eaten by Kansas State players after the first ever Pop-Tart Bowl. Wow, what a moment. Oh, this has been such a fun award show, Lucy. All of these nominees are very deserving of footies. I don't know how we're going to top this next year. What, what was your what was your favorite moment of the college football season? Oh, that's a good one. Well, when Brian Ferentz got fired was pretty good for me, <laughs> personally. Um, I don't know. Have thought of it well, I What's your just favorite? threw that one out. I mean, favorite? mine is very personal to me, which was Notre Dame beating <laughs> USC yeah, at home when USC was undefeated. And then Sam Hartman did the this thing, which is very funny. Uh, like, Texas basketball can't handle the horns down. Good luck in the SEC, buddies. Oh, man. You, also, you should be watching this on YouTube because that didn't make a lot of sense over audio. I was doing the fight on but fight off thing with the Sam Hartman did with the upside down. But you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, that was my favorite moment. But, you know, Connor Stallions is a really close. It's like 1A, 1B because that shit was funny. Yeah, that's my favorite. All right. Long live. Well, maybe that should have won moment of the year then. <laughs> we both agree. Who, who decided who the winners were? Taylor. I, if we it had were, a committee. Uh, no, if it were us, I definitely would have won. I don't something. trust the committee. Lucy 0 for 5 at the footies yeah, this year. I, oh, man. Maybe better luck next year, Luce. Showing. Uh, well, thanks for watching the footies, everyone. On Gen CFB. <laughs> we're not foot girls. <laughs> Please don't go on a set. Why did we, why did we name our awards at the foot, foot feet? The, gen, the, the generations. The gens. The Jennies. The Jennies. Oh, we could have done the Jennies! <laughs> that would have been good. The Bollies? The Bollies? I don't know. I don't know that one.
I like footies. We'll stick with footies. Yeah.